Hello, my name is Daryl Triplett, alongside fellow artists Larry Holston and master artist Don Simcone. We're here at the 2022 art exhibition hosted by Lincoln Parish Public Library in Ruston, Louisiana. This exhibit highlights works of art that undergirds community. The artworks in this exhibit depicts our various styles and techniques that has evolved over the last few years. As Don and Connie often share with us, art is an expression of life for life. All right, Uncle Don, yes. as we observe this drawing by the uh, kid doing his homework by the lamplight, mm -hmm. I'm reminded of a few paintings that you did for the Desi Lou production movie in 1965, Art of Love. Oh yeah, okay. The few paintings that I've seen of you in that movie, this mm -hmm. one is reminiscent and of your style back in 1965. Mm -hmm. Can you collaborate for us on this piece in the connections and the similarities of those paintings you did for that movie? Okay. The paintings that are used in that movie, The Art of Love, starring Dick Van Dyke, James mm -hmm. Garner, and at Universal Studios, right. uh, Ross Hunter, the producer of that movie, um, they started that movie, uh, I think, in about 1961 or two, right. and yes. he had, they did filming in New York, and uh, Paris, and some uh, at the sound stage in Los Angeles. And from the beginning, Mr. Hunter was looking for an artist mm -hmm. right. whose work could be used in the movie. Yeah. And he looked in New York, Paris, and had also looked in uh, Los Angeles, and had not found what he was looking for. And finally, uh, near the point where he had to have an artist. He's gonna to have to choose somebody. And someone had told him about Harry Sorcher's agency on um, La Cienega Boulevard in Hollywood. And I was working for that art studio mm -hmm. at that time. And he saw my work. And right. um, he chose my work and that's what was used in the movie. So this is my style. Now, there are other paintings that we're gonna see in here that um, I painted in that manner, but that was coming out of Europe, having studied there for a long time when I was actually in the army, traveling from Denmark all the way down to Italy, and studying techniques. Um, and so when I came home, in the early uh, 60s, I could paint in about 30 different styles, mm. right. and, but had no style of my own. Okay. And yeah. so, and I was constantly searching for that. And then I would paint all day from like seven o'clock in the morning until five in the evening. I, my wife, Catherine, would have uh, supper ready and we'd spend time with the kids and she and I would spend time together and I'd get up about one o'clock in the morning and paint for me right and searching and finally finally I just let go of everything and uh, reflected back on what I was doing as a child, not understanding what I was doing. I was just drawing and whatever I decided it was, that's what it was. So that's what I moved to that place and then it was this kind of figuring, uh, drawing that came out of it. Mm. And I could feel that that was me. And so in all that time looking for style, I learned in that instant that I didn't have to search beyond me. I'm right. style. Style right. is sure. how you 
and Larry and everybody else do what they do yeah. in the way that only they can do it. That's what style really yeah. is about. And also, your lives uh -huh. are old uh -huh. in this. Mm -hmm. And when I was in uh, Grammy, we t we were taught not to outline. Yeah, yeah no, not to. <laughs> yeah, right. right. But yeah. Yeah. but yeah. it works so well yeah. with your work. Yeah. And I'm amazed every time I see your your artwork because of the brilliancy and colors. Man, I just the the colors just speak speak to me. And so um, I like your, your your outlines, the subtleties of color, and when you step back of 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 uh, your work, you you can see it. You, and it, think about it. Just, you step back. It's just so only, bold. Right, so it's bold, but you see the ancestor. He talking about that's the, right. What comes out of Africa. That's right. You, you, you can mass. see it. You can see it. Has a mask right here. Yeah, you can see it and, all and, in its work. Absolutely. And you see those those geometric forms. Yes. You know, those shapes, you know, which becomes a mathematical piece. Yeah. You know, and, and it's balance, the balance of the piece from, from the lines to the colors and all of this movement, you know, it's almost like it's, 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 it's organized noise. <laughs> like, 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 what's his name? Miles Davis? Yeah, that's organized right. That's noise. Right. Look, look at this and one. Everybody look at wants this to be like Miles right and Picasso. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, look at this painting right here. The lines, you know. The uh, dark lines all through it, but it works together. Absolutely. Everything works together. Yeah. See, see, the the truth of the matter is, the line is if if there's a form. Yeah. There's a definitive line of strong darkness. Yes. There's yes. a definitive. Edge, I'm talking edges. Yeah. Right. That, that's when we're talking lines, but we're talking edges. Yeah. And we see what we see because that illusion is there. The way that, that our eyes pick it up, yeah. it brings that form together in that. And uh, if you squint your eyes, you can see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, and at the if that is not there, then you can't see it. Yeah. But w when we are trained, for the most part, we're talking soft yes. edges. Yes. Everything ain't soft. soft. Yeah. The same as everything isn't hard. Yeah. But the principle behind where I'm coming from, not knowing about principles. Period. Mm. The only reason you have to I, eliminate yeah. that from the yeah. thought process. Yeah. And, and and with the child, I didn't have that, you know, right. principle to me when I finally uh, comprehended that. First, that was that was the lady that was over to school. Yeah, they didn't have to think yeah. about it too much. Yeah, I didn't know nothing, you know. And but when it comes together, it it expresses that. And and the incredible R about this is, without trying to paint um, depth into a piece, you can paint flat, two-dimensional, right. as, as I'm doing here, and with the subtlety of that light against that dark, it creates the three illusion of depth. That's, that's right. right. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's amazing. Those are some kind of centric circles. 
Well, because that's where I stole that from. <laughs> you heard it. Stealing yeah. from you. Stealing from me. <laughs> well, well, you, heard, you know, it, it is a thievery. <laughs> yes. Because if, if we don't mimic, that's right. then we don't speak with this English that we we're the same struggling way. Right. with here. Yes. We learned this. We stole it from somebody. That's right. Yeah. Everything. Everything. Yeah. All Everything. Those, yeah. I mentioned yeah. Delacroix and all yeah. those. Yeah. Yeah. They went to the loop. Yeah. Michelangelo was going to the loop. Yeah. yeah. So they, yeah, when Veronese was doing his thing, um, Masaccio and all of those, yeah. you know. They went to the loop. They went to the loop. Yeah, and they yeah. all sat at the feet of a master who they had to mimic. They right. had to paint and draw right. so close to what the master was doing until people like Peter Paul Rubens actually had a, all of his students during those pieces and then Rubens would come in at the end and put the Rubens touch on it and right. sign Peter right. Paul Rubens. And I always yeah. wonder why he had so many paintings. <laughs> That's why. That's why I have. He had a whole bunch of Wow. Of, yeah, he had of, a factory, assistants. right. Wow. Yes. Yeah. But this piece, it, this, this is actually, I call these circles, you know, in science it's yeah. called Concentric circles, yeah. but these are concentric circles. Okay. Mm -hmm. Of course, these are the Don Sinconi centric circles. circles. Okay. So you, you see how this kind of pulled a piece in and out. Of course, with Ray, everybody know who Ray was. We was was fascinated by his music yeah. and his life and, and the way he lived his life as a blind person who could perform in the way he did. You, you know, when I look at this piece, I see the joy that Ray had seen. Oh, absolutely. You know, and and I see that, and your background tells a, a story. Uh, it's, it's, it's musically inclined, your background. And yeah. you said it uh, spells out something, didn't you? Yeah, his name is actually in the background. Yes, right. yeah. Those so geometric, geometric shapes. Geometric yeah. shapes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And some of them, very few concentric curvy shape with the geometric shapes. Actually it is the aura, A, and there's the Y. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now yeah. And, and I will be remiss. And I had a little bit of Mondrian influences in okay. here as well. Yeah. Now, now, oh yeah, I, I can see that. Yeah. yeah. I can see let, that. Let me go back to the concentric circle. Uh oh. Dance and cold circles. And and actually they are mine. Yeah. They they yeah. belong yeah. to God. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yes. by all means. Yeah. And I'm talking yeah. water. Yes. Yes. I, 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 I saw know. a film when I was at, a student at Southern University. It was called The, this, um, the Sound of Silence. And mm. this wrapped around a rumor that destroyed a beautiful young lady. And the rumor started like dropping a pebble uh -huh. in a placid body yeah. of water. Yeah. Yeah. Then the circle expanded, expanded, and expanded. Then another um, intuitive writer took that mm -hmm. and laid it against relationships. Mm -hmm. So when, when the relationships began at home, we learn relationships at home. Then it expands to our relatives. Then it expands to the community. Then it expands and it expands to person X that we reach out to. And all of that relationship in there, um, most people think, uh, and I ask this question sometimes very intentionally, what's the greatest word in the English language, aside from some proper nouns? And most people will quickly say, what? Well, L-O-V-E, love. love. Right. Yes. 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 But there is no love in existence that did not begin out of a relationship. Mm. Right. So, and Ray was that ambassador. Yes. That's why we all love Ray, is because he was so, he was bubbling over. The man had incredible depth of soul. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. 
but it, it was just bubbling over all the time. And, and even if I wasn't feeling good, when Ray Charles started singing, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then he came along, I, I, I say the right time, but in oh, yeah. the 40s and the 50s mm -hmm. when he was in his prime. So he came out of that, that between the, uh, the, uh, the time, I'm saying, Antibiotic, depression. the depression. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. He's a little bit older than I was. Yeah. 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 He probably was born in the either late 1900s, um, around 1918 or somewhere along in there. Um, and so he lived through an awesome time, especially for African Americans in, in, in this country. That time of existence was a time coming um, uh, from 18, 1918 coming forward was one of the worst times mm. uh, on us as a people right. uh, be, uh, beyond slavery. It was so much lynching all right. across this country, not just in the South, but all across this country, that he came out of that time into the Great Depression and then on into World War II. And through that struggle, coming out of that uh, relationship, and it's relationships that are building in here, right. that's picking up that incredible word that we hear in the preamble uh, toward a more perfect, perfect, perfect union. union. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and what was happening here is that so many people were touched when he passed away. Mm -hmm. And then when Jamie Foxx did his rendition yes. in that movie, man, oh. it just kind of pulled every, more and more yes. people in. Yes. But he was so influential among the races of people. Oh, yes. 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 You know, white people were crazy about this guy. Yes. And, and it was interesting to me is that he, he, he came between the time, you say, the Depression mm -hmm. and the Civil Rights Movement and mm -hmm. then up through the 70s yeah. when I was growing up in mm -hmm. the 80s. And to the 90s, you know, this guy was still at the top of yes. his game, so to speak. Mm -hmm. You know, with all of that talent, with an impediment. Mm -hmm. I guess it's an impediment when you can't see. But I, I, for him, I, I would only even call if it becomes. It becomes. So, become. yes. Yeah. I, I, in fact, with him, I wouldn't even call it an impediment for him. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> yeah. he was no, no, he was no blinder than Helen Keller. Keller, yeah. <laughs> who, who, who could see color and had never seen color. Mm -hmm. She could, yeah. yes. That's amazing. So so this piece was, I was just touched by when I started working on it and mm -hmm. got into it. And, and kind of like those lines, I know when you started yeah. painting, you taught Larry and I, before you even had anything on the canvas, you would make these lines. And these lines, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't say anything about 30 minutes later. And we trying to figure out, why are you doing all of these lines? And you wouldn't tell me any, no, any different, and he wouldn't say anything at the time, but he didn't. I understood when I started doing this piece. He, then I realized I'm creating balance. Yeah, that's right. I'm creating a road map to where I want to that's put right. figures. And, mm -hmm. and all of these cross sections in the piece, then it started coming together. And it looks like no other piece that I've done. <laughs> no, but no. it's one of my favorites. Yeah, now, now go back to what, what both you and Larry were talking about previously, and and Byron. Um, yeah, I think you said I, steel. I used his word. Yeah. Eclecticized. <laughs> yeah, that's what I. Do. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right. The, the that the lines that you're talking about here mm -hmm. is think about it. Alphabets. Yeah. Numbers. Yeah. Doesn't matter what style of characters you're making, what uh, language you are depicting this in, whether it's the Roman or the Chinese or, or Arabic, uh, Hebrew, mm -hmm. all of these have essential designs that communicate immediately mm -hmm. right, to the familiar. And you using the familiar that, that brings this forward. In, in my study in Europe of the old masters, that's what the power of, of, of their work is about. It's that structure mm -hmm. 
that's within that great work of art that you don't even see it. Right. Yeah, it's like the building we're standing in yeah, here right. now. Right. You don't see the steel structures nope. that's in here, but we see all of the beautiful aesthetics yeah. in, in that we're in here now. And that's right. what you, okay. you're showing us here. Okay, uh, yes. right. yeah. that's good. All right. I'm reminded of the two black angels from Egypt, Felicity and Perpetua. Mm -hmm. Those are the black angels were from Northern Africa yeah. who became Christians and actually became martyrs for their faith. Mm -hmm. This is something that, you know, us Christians don't talk a lot yeah, about. Yeah. But those, in fact, I told my little niece, she put an angel on a Christmas tree. Yeah. I said, well, who is that, Felicity? Or perpetual. She said, who? <laughs> I know she did. <laughs> but anyway, I noticed your name is Peace Felicia. Yeah. And so that kind of, I don't know where you was going with it, okay. but I'm going to let you explain it. Right. I love it, by the way. Thank you, thank you. I was in class. Uh, at Grambling State, State University. Yes, talking at Grambling State no, University. The Grambling State University. The Grambling State University. And it's, it's, it was around Halloween. And mm -hmm. some of the students, dress up, you know, and this student dressed up as Felicia uh, for Friday, uh -huh. yeah, uh, for Friday, and I saw her, I said, what? I said, wait, wait a minute, let me take a picture of you, and so from that picture, I came up with this, but I wanted to use bold, bold colors, mm -hmm. because in my mind, I saw Don's works. <laughs> See, he stole from you too. Yeah. Well, no, he just bought it. <laughs> Eclecticide. No <laughs> arm on the page. And so, and so, in, in this piece, you can see all the lines. All the lines. Yes. Broken uh, lines. Yes. Yes. And, 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 and so, uh, I wanted to, to use bold colors. And, and I, I did. And it turned out pretty good, you know. Yeah. Uh, with, with what I did. And so these are some of those pieces that I did in that uh, genre. Sure. You know? Yeah. During that same time period. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I got more than this, but this one and that one. Mm -hmm. And that one up there. Mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Well, well, this one, what you named her, uh, that's my oldest daughter's name. Okay, okay. Yeah, Felicia. But it's yeah. coming from the Spanish. Feliz. No okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and this yeah. was my first yeah. first one in this in this style of painting. Yeah. Yes. I went to the uh Notre Dame uh -huh. back in twenty seventeen. Mm -hmm. Right before it burned. And we 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 saw some pieces in there with the stained glass. Mm, yeah. This reminds me mm -hmm. of inside that yes. time. Yeah. It was awesome, man. Mm -hmm. It was it was fantastic. And that's the only thing I can think about when a few months later I it's saw so that Notre Dame burn. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and I was just blown away. I was I couldn't take my eyes off the stained glass. I, the artwork was fabulous. Mm -hmm. But that stained glass it said something. Wow. Yeah, so this, this, this piece, the overall composition and the geometric shapes. Yeah. I love really standing geometric out. shapes. Yes. Yeah, and yes. and the, you, speak, you spoke of the bold colors and with those flat patterns of the broad areas yeah. of color, even though it's, it's very, very subtly, um, that comes out. I mean, you you see you see that. Yeah. It doesn't hit you. Wham! It, but it it's there. That presence is there, and the the the, the essence of the reds and relationships to the other colors 
that are in there then gets behind the psychic of what, what color does and motivating us, yeah. what we're feeling inside, you know, and, and thinking of this in terms of the usage to intentionally communicate thought through that use of color. Yeah, and that's yeah. what I try to do. Mm -hmm. oh, and it's working. Yeah. Yes. You kept it. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm.